today, it's Joseph. Curiosity didn't kill the cat this time, but he'll be more careful in the future. As well as water on tap, this area is proving great for foraging, with plenty of tasty morsels for all. Rocket Dog's decision to move the family to this area has paid off, and today, there's an added bonus. If a roving male happens to pass by, she just might get lucky because Zaphod isn't around. He's back at the burrow, babysitting. Not a task that comes to mind when thinking of this proud, dominant male. He hasn't babysat since he was a subordinate over four years ago. For one so used to being at the heart of any foraging trip, it's a huge change of direction. Without a clearly defined role in the group, and no partner to mate guard, guarding the pups is one way for Zaphod to make himself useful within the newly made over Whiskers. It's late afternoon, and the Whiskers are coming to the end of a successful day's foraging. Rocket Dog still hasn't had any luck attracting a roving male, and now has resorted to comfort food. The only unrelated male in the vicinity is little Axel. Born a Zappa pup, remarkably he was adopted into the Whiskers shortly before Flower's death, and it seems he's now a fully-fledged member of the gang, happiest when mimicking Mitch family's super sentinel. But today's lesson and observation holds a surprise for young Axel. Shadowy figures are pure at a distance. While Mitch stares in the opposite direction, yet more come into view. It's the Zappa game. Axel's former family, and the Whiskers' mortal enemy. The Whiskers are a sitting target. Too young to know what this massing of forces means, Axel fails to raise the alarm. At last, Mitch spots the charging army. Rocket Dog has only seconds to decide what the family does now. It's fight or flight. She chooses flight. It's a humiliation for the family. When the flower Whiskers never lost to the Zappa. Back at the burrow, Zaphod, the one member whose help could have made a real difference in this sorry state of affairs, is having a battle of his own. Their burrow is situated right next to a colony of sociable weaver birds, and they've just woken up. The cacophony of 300 breeding pairs is enough to try anyone's patience. In Rocket Dog's hour of need, Zaphod's absence has cost the group dearly. As the oldest and most experienced member of the family, the Whispers need him battling out in the field, not battling with noisy neighbors. Spurred on by their initial success, the Zappa are still up for a fight. Rocket Dog has no choice. If they continue to run, the Zappa will chase them clean off their land. Flower would never have allowed the Zappa to do this to her family. Rocket Dog launches a last ditch counterattack. This time, there's no going back. 